Profiles is a function within Central that forms a primary searching tool for information about students. It's mainly a place for seeking information rather than creating it. It's also in a steady state of transition from version 1 to version 2. That means that some of the functionality in Profiles has now grown into standalone modules, and you'll see that in this video series for Profiles Setup. As an administrator, you'll need to have an appreciation of the transition from version 1 to version 2, as this will impact what your staff will see when they use Profiles. For starters, version 2 looks different to version 1, and once a search has been completed, the landing pages are quite different. This is version 2, and this is version 1. There is also this button which toggles between versions 1 and 2. As an administrator, you can specify whether or not this button is even visible. You may wish to turn this off to reduce confusion about the versions, and we'll take a look at how to do that shortly. Once in Profile Setup, you'll see this menu with an overview of its contents on the right. This is similar to the setup for other central modules. In this video, we'll take a look at General Settings and Hide Show Menu Items. General settings is fairly simple. There are three options here for email settings, and you'll need to choose which one is most appropriate for your school systems. It's these two options which will require some consideration. You'll need to decide which version of profiles your users will see when they click on the profiles link from the central menu. Given that much of profiles has already migrated to version two, it's strongly recommended you choose this option. And then there's the profile versions button. To make things simpler, you may wish to simply choose this option and lock your users into the choice you made above. This has the effect of removing the button altogether so that users can't see it, and therefore can't click it. The Hide Show Menu Items link is specific to Profiles version 1. If you have no intention of using version 1, then you can stop watching now. This is a simple tick box exercise to choose which menu items you'd like to hide from view after a search has been completed. Let's take a quick look. Here we are in Setup with the list of menu items I can tick to hide. If I flick over to Profiles 1 from the Teachers view and then complete a search, you'll see these menu items shown on the left. Let's slide this over a bit so that you can see how this matches up. So you can see that what I tick or untick will have an impact on what users see. For example, in this case, under the Student Details menu, you can see Overview, Medical and Absences, but you can't see Emergency Care Plan or Family. Again, if you are intending to use Profiles version 2, then you don't need to do anything for the Hide Show menu items.